Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Out with the old and with the new. If you are looking to streamline your theme collection, learn the art of removing a theme from your WordPress website repository. Keep your design choices sharp and clutter free. So guys, let's remove your themes and get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first thing first is to go ahead and open your WordPress dashboard. As you can see right in front of us, I am on my WordPress dashboard right here. So the second thing that I, I would suggest you to do is basically check your theme. So here it is. This is the theme that I'm using at the moment. Um, nothing very special about it. So here are the things to do in order to remove the theme that you already own. So basically here, if I want to appearance, here you will find every single theme that you have in your website. So in order to actually remove a theme, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is click on your theme and if it is activated, for example, this one is the theme that I'm using at the moment. So in order to change it or to remove it, I should simply just go and find another theme by clicking here. So here we go. I would change, look for a new theme that I want to use. For example, uh, any one of these themes in general, you could just install. And then once you install them, you can simply just go to that page and activate it. For example, I'm going to activate this theme. So what's going to happen exactly is, uh, well, here it is, it changed. So what's happened is the theme that was activated, it got removed. So it is no longer a part of my website, but it is still a part of this list that I have right here. So how can I remove it even from this list and free up some spaces from for my website? It's pretty easy. Well, you can either delete them manually. So I can click here and right here, as you can see in this uh, pop up, you can simply click on delete and this pop up will open. Click on OK and it has been deleted. You have to simply just do this over and over with every single other template. There is another tool to actually do that, which is basically um, here we can search for plugins. So right here, go ahead and click on add a new plugin and we can search for theme uh, remover. So it is basically a plugin that will help you to remove every theme or we can simply f search for resets. So simply search for resets. And this is the plugin that you should go for. So basically WP resets, let me just open it for us so we can learn about it. So this is reset and will delete all posts, pages, custom posts, types, comments, media, interests, etc, etc. And what it will do is basically it will even remove the themes that you own in your website. So it will simply just like put your WordPress site to its original form like it has been just been created. So this is a very useful tool in order to use it. Simply just click on here, install now. And what it will do is it will literally de delete everything. So click on activate, go open w, uh, WP Reset Tools. And here, as you can see, it is not for free. But in general, uh, because basically this is not really a uh, paid one in paid one you will have details for everything for template for plugins you can literally choose which one to remove post pages comments which one to keep which one to remove even here you can have uh, themes files but for us here we only have these options so uh, we can either uh, site reset so reactivate current theme so we can uh, like reset it, the actual team that I'm using, uh, reactivate WordPress reset plugin, or activate our currently active plugins. So these are only things that I have. We can here, uh, as you can see for the Pro Tool, reactivate current team, reactivate one currently active plugin, TWP reset will reactive by default. So basically these are the tools to actually help us reset the websites at the moment. But yeah, here we can delete uh, transite, you can purge cache, you can delete local data, uh, and here it is. So here you can delete themes. So simply all themes will be deleted, including the currently active theme, OceanWP. 
this is no and do wordpress reset does not make any file backups this tool modifies files in the database so delete all files click on delete all themes and just like that seven themes have been deleted if i want to the appearance as you can see here and went to themes as you can see i have literally nothing so if i reset my website it's just a blank page that has nothing in it so just like that i have actually removed uh, a theme from my website so to get it back simply as i said install and this is a very useful tool actually guys because as i said if you have tried dozens or hundreds of teams before you get to choose your current theme well that means that you have a list of themes that you have to go through and delete one by one which can really take a lot of time and the best thing to do it is to do it automatically uh, with that specific uh, plugin that I have given to you so here it is this is the website it has been uh, implemented correctly now everything is working i have the images the uh, everything is perfectly done now so here it is the button so this is the template that i have added it is working i can customize it edit it and yeah here it is navigation styles pages template patterns i can literally here add and remove anything that i want for example if i want to add anything here i can just click on add and i can choose what i want to add exactly from both services team members anything anything that i think that it could be very useful in here i can add it and as i said once more when you feel like you don't want this theme to be here anymore you can simply just head up to themes and remove it so for now i only have this one that's why as you can see i can't even delete it because i only have one appear so if i want to themes i can't really remove it i don't have the remove button but yeah once you use this plugin that i have shown to you guys you can literally remove every single theme even the one that you are using and your page will turn into a blank page as you saw at the beginning or as you saw when we have finished with deleting every single theme so yeah guys basically these are the steps to follow to actually remove the themes from your website so there are three main steps to do Either you go to your appearance and delete every theme one by one manually and in case you had a lot of themes to actually go through and it's gonna like take a lot of time from you then go to plugins add new plugin and make sure to download wp wordpress reset which is a very useful plugin that will not only allow you to delete every theme it will allow you to delete every single plugin reset the plugins reset the appearance uh, remove comments remove pages media and posts and much more than that so guys with that we have arrived to an end for our video thank you guys a lot for watching if you do have any more questions or any more topics that you want me to talk about make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial